All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. It is time for Week in Review. It was supposed to be time for Month in Review. And, of course, because I'm still using my silly phone, uh, I had a problem. Guys, I sat down earlier this week for a glorious hour and 15 minutes with JB from Big Red EDC. We sat and we talked about everything uh, from the month of March, and it was going to post today, and it was going to be awesome. Unfortunately, you just get me. Um, so, yeah, no, just, guys, I just am about to order a new laptop and a webcam, and we're going to solve this. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I tried to record a Zoom call on my phone, and it was recording fine, but for some reason, after 20 minutes, it just decided to stop recording, and we kept going for another hour. Um, and in that 20 minutes, it didn't record JB's audio. So you heard me and just like a tinny JB in the background. So, uh, for today, you get me, you get week in review and it's going to be great. I promise. Uh, but it's no JB and I'm sorry for that. Cause I know I promised you guys that on the, uh, live stream on Monday night, which by the way, planning to have another live stream this coming uh, Monday night, which would be the, what, the, uh, the, the, the fifth, fourth, fifth, yeah, fifth of, uh, April, we plan to have another live stream at 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, going to be great again, because you guys just make it great, but JB and I talked about, uh, you know, his Rough Rider Reserve knives, his, uh, Muku Rudy, uh, Finch Runtley, uh, we talked about his awesome unboxing the other day, if you haven't seen it, Go check it out uh, where he unboxed all of the notes from everyone and the knife from uh, Grateful Panic and everyone. Uh, go check it out. It's so emotional. Guys, JB is just a terrific dude, and it was so much fun to uh, be on that live stream uh, when he did that and 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 check it out. So, uh, again, we're going to have a really good time on Week in Review. We're going to talk about everything uh, that happened this week. Oh, and by the way, of course, we talked about the fact that I hit... A thousand subs, thanks to you guys in the month of March, and uh, we had an awesome giveaway. We started streaming. Um, you know, I have the new code from Tour Knives of ten percent off for you guys. Um, got a bunch of awesome knives in, which we've shown, and we're going to show some more here in just a moment. So, overall, uh, it's still been a really good week. We're going to do another week in review, and I promise you. I don't know if I should promise. I hope that as long as no uh, technical difficulties happen, we're going to do the month in review with JB at the end of April, and it's going to be awesome. If it's anything like the conversation we had yes, uh, a couple days ago, um, it will be great. So stand by. We're going to go down to the table. We're going to talk about what's come in this week and uh, what we looked at and go from there. Thank you. All right, here we are at the table, and there's some goodies on the table that we're going to roll through and uh, give you a chance to look at. And guys, I just want to, like I always do, I'm going to move my camera just a little bit here, uh, thank all the folks uh, that are watching and all the folks around here on the edge that uh, support the channel and help us out. And thanks to the pass around groups uh, that make a lot of these knives possible. So, uh, here we go. So I'm going to start with, with what's in the pocket today, guys. I just unboxed this the other night. We're going to talk a little bit more about that Whoops! in a minute. Thankfully, I caught that as I started to drop it. This is in the pocket today, the CRKT Trask and Eric Oaks design. Um, I'll tell you off the bat, guys, I, I both... Um, I, guess, I guess I'm conflicted a little bit about this knife. I kind of love the way it fits my hand. I love some other things, but the action is sort of uh, up for debate, and we're going to cover that more on uh, my review. It is a beautiful work knife. I mean, you can tell it is sharp, uh, very much so. Great looking design by Eric Oaks. There's just some things we need to talk about in the review, um, and uh, we'll go into that in the review. It does have this uh, deadbolt lock. It's my first chance to actually use one. I have held um, the Seismic, I think it was called, in a store. Um, and, you know, it was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I can't, 
I can't flip it open, guys. I'm I'm pretty much rolling it open, and we'll go into that in the review. Um, and uh, as far as closing it, you can flip it. You have to do it pretty hard. Um, it makes a little noise, but we'll talk about that. So, but I mean, it's just a cool looking knife. So I, I there we go. I did it that time. I want so much to like it, um, and I do as far as the way it feels in hand, and we'll go into it more. But that's what's in the pocket today. Uh, the second guy, the, the secondary knife is this. Guys, you know if you've watched this channel, oh, I just love my CJRB Rhea. My wife got this for me, um, but I'd love it even if, uh, you know, I, I just stumbled across it on the street. But I <laughs> love it even more because she gave it to me. Uh, it is, I mean, the action on this thing for a tiny little knife is uh, I wouldn't say tiny. A small knife um, is great. The usability of it is great. The way it feels in my hand is terrific. And just look, I mean, look at that action and watch. Oh my goodness, it just flies out of there, guys. Um, for those of you that know the channel, you will know this is my, if you if you really want to see RKT CEO, get a CGRB Rhea. <laughs> uh, yeah, and JB's in the Micarta. Uh, that he loaned me was really awesome, but I love this carbon fiber. Uh, whoops. And that was me, not the knife. That is, uh, by the way, somebody said last week that should be the theme of my channel because uh, I say it so much. And there you go. I said it again. So uh, we're going to close these up. That's what was in the pocket today. Leave down in the comments uh, what you've got in your pocket today. I would love to hear about it. So other things that came in this week, uh, this awesome Tour Knives Anaconda, uh, and obviously, if I can get it out of my pocket, also the uh, Tour Knives, this really cool pry tools. It's called the EDC tool. Uh, it comes with the bands and a Phillips head, which I may replace with a T8 or, or something, but also this really cool uh, wrench. Just, I mean, look, it's a thick beast, but it, I mean, it's not heavy. Feels great in the pocket. I'll definitely... Uh, give a review on it down the road, uh, but I am digging that. But this Anaconda, guys, I have carried this two days already this week, and I am loving it. It is a great carry. Now, I am using this as inside the waistband, so I'm putting this in my waistband, and I'm using this uh, Ulti Clip XL, which I also got from Tour. And by the way, they are tight. If you get an Ulti Clip and you're shocked that it's tight, uh, you're not paying attention. It is tight. And that's good. So this, I'm looping it over my belt like so, and then popping this down uh, like that. And it is not going anywhere. And I'm able to angle it in such a way uh, that it feels great. It's not bothering me. Uh, this holster is unreal. But guys, the selling point of this knife for me is this crazy textured G10. Um, and if you haven't seen the purple rain one they're selling right now, if there's still any left, check that out on Tour's website. Um, but this G10, the texture, it's just perfect in your hand and the way it's sw swelled out here. I just love this knife. I am so glad I picked this one out. Um, and if you like this one, but you like a Tanto point, uh, they have the um, the Serpent, and the Serpent is basically the Anaconda with a Tanto. This one's going to end up being a little more, uh, you know, pokey, stabby, pointy, uh, because the Tanto is obviously sort of, uh, you know, obviously like this at the end. Um, but they're very similar. The, the, the thinness is similar. The um, height of the blade is similar. The handle material is uh, very similar. And I'm just absolutely loving this. I cannot wait to review it for you full on. Guys, remember, uh, if you're interested in one of these or anything the tour has, and by the way, folders coming in mid-May, woohoo! Um, and tour is offering through the Knives Fast channel, 10% off with the code KNIVESFAST, all caps, one word. Uh, I'll have it in the uh, description and the link. So check that out. I'm going to leave this knife on the table like this so you can see it because I just love the profile of that knife. It has spoken to me for a long time and I'm so glad to finally have one. Um, okay. Uh, another that came in this week was uh, this uh, Asher uh, Spiro 
came from the Apex Pass Around group. Guys, I, I have carried this a couple of times. This thing is great. This will get a stellar review from me. Uh, the lockup, you guys know I had a problem with another with uh, the Nomad. This is the Spear. The lockup is great. Uh, as you can see, just really well done. Uh, great snappy knife. Uh, perfect EDC size and feel in your hand. Um, again, trying not to ruin my review, but I'm digging on this. And then the other two that came in this week were the Trask, as I've already shown you, since it's in my pocket today. And then the Lanny. Guys, um, you know, two of the things that you hear me talk about is I'm not a big Tanto fan and I'm not much of a fan of an assisted knife. I still think the assist is unnecessary on this knife, but first impressions, which is sort of what we're doing here. I love this knife, the way it fits, the way it feels, uh, it's big and substantial in your hand as far as the thickness of it. Um, and this jimping just locks you in. Look at that. Uh, great jimping. I love that hollow grind. Just look, you can see it there. Just so well done. The compound grind down here at the end is beautiful. Uh, and it's designed by Leong Ma. And I think if I remember correctly, what was this thing? I want to say, and it's HCR 13. All right, guys, hold on. I'm gonna walk over here to the computer for a second. But I think this knife is about Oh, anyway, I'm just going to guess because I can't get to the computer right now. But I think this thing is a little over $30. Um, this one came from uh, the, my friend uh, Lefty EDC who ordered it through White Mountain Knives and had it sent directly to me. Um, and, man, I will I will put the link, uh, if I remember, in the description. And when I do my review, I'll definitely do that. Uh, this thing is really cool. I am digging it again. If you're not into assisted... You might not want it, but um, this one uh, seems really, really, really well done. I'm I'm very impressed with it. Uh, you know, those things will go over about it, of course, but I am really getting into it. So, uh, as far as reviews this past week, just to to review, if you haven't seen these, go back and check them out. We did a review on the Kisliar Supreme. Whisper that came from my buddy JB at Big Red EDC. Uh, go check that review out, guys. I'll put the link up here somewhere. Um, and then uh, the Civivi Ortis uh, in Twill Carbon Fiber and Damascus. Again, link will be up here somewhere. Uh, great one. And then last this week was the Civivi pin Pintail Little Small Flipper. Uh, again, link will be up here somewhere. And, uh, man, it is a really cool knife as well. So uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy these weekend reviews. I'm telling you, if I could have found a way to not uh, have my phone just decide it didn't want to record, that conversation with JB was so much fun. And we both came out of it saying, oh, well, we get to spend an hour and 15 talking about, talking about knives and to each other and having fun. I'm just sad that you guys didn't get to experience it. So uh, give me a comment and let me know what you're carrying and what you think of what you see here. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And guys, check out the, the link to the Patreon and the 10% uh, off from Tour in the uh, <clears throat> in the description. And guys, just thanks for your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.